Hello everybody, and welcome to FTL, Faster Than Light. Um, this is a really fun sci-fi spaceship game that's been out for a couple years now. I don't know the exact number, but it's a lot of fun, so I thought I'd do maybe a little playthrough of it. Uh, yes. And it's, but it's a really hard game, so I might be blowing up a lot. And I've already played this before, so I've unlocked other ships, which we might try out in the future. But for the moment, I'm just going to go for the plain old Kestrel, Type A. This is the second version, which is my favorite. But I'm going to go for the original here. Uh, yeah. Let's name our characters. We shall have Captain Colby. Um, we have a female here, so it shall be, um, Jenny, Colonel, no, not Colonel, Lieutenant Jenny, and we shall have Commander Rick, uh, we'll have it on easy, because this is a very hard game. <laughs> oh, yeah, and our ship. Uh, whenever I blow up... Here we go. Whenever I blow up and we create a new ship, uh, we, you guys can, like, put in the comments or something if you guys want a name for a ship. But for the moment, we shall be the SS... Star Explorer. Whoops. The SS Star Explorer. Let's start. The data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next. But get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet catch up. Tip, solar flares. Solar flares will cause hull damage in addition to starting fires. Make sure your shields are up to help are up are up to help mitigate the effect. Oh, okay. So these this is basically the beacon map. All, all these sectors you can jump to, and something most of the time happens in each one of them. And you want always want to try to hit as much as possible for before you get to the exit. So, uh, you might want to go up here, then go bam, 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 maybe. Sure, let's do that. Let's just jump. The nebula. A uh, pirate ship arrives shortly after you. Judging from the fact that it is attempting to avoid your ship, you assume it's a smuggler trying to stay away from beacons. Let's attack the pirate! Uh, it's got a laser and an ion cannon. Oof. That, that's not very good. Okay. Let's do this. Um, just a second. We have Captain Colby at the helm. Captain Jenny, or Lieutenant Jenny, at, um, the engines. And Commander Rick at the weapon systems. That is how I wanted it. Let's save the stations here. Oh, they're firing. Ooh, luckily it missed. That is very good. Uh, let's fire our burst laser here and here. Boom, boom. I'm trying to escape. Not on my watch, you're not. Uh... Hit their engines. Whoop. Boom, boom. Ooh. One missile, one drone part, and 28 scrap. Nice. Jump. Zoom. Zoom. Uh, the black market weapons trader spins you tail of the dangers of the nebula. Transfer. I told you this was a dangerous place. Attack the ship! No one tricks us! Okay, yeah, they're screwed. No one tricks us into money. 
We're gonna destroy you. Uh oh. Oh, it hit our door system. I'm not really scared of a door system. Fire all weaponry. Alrighty. Sir, the weapons are charging. All weapons charged. Fire at their oxygen. We'll get these buggers to surrender. They're not surrendering. Fire! Boom! Nobody messes with the SS Star Explorer and gets away with it. We got about half our money back, though. Mm. <clears throat> We're in open space. Uh, pun and greetings. Yeah. Well, greetings and welcome to our beacon. For a small fee, we'll let you continue on your way. Reject their offer. Uh, okay. Stuff again. Okay. Let us prepare to fire. Okay. Attack their shields and oxygen. Oh, wow. At least we got their weaponry. So we're good for a bit. Recharge the weapons, Rick. Right away, Sayar. Prepare to fire once again. Fire! We're destroying them. They don't. They don't stand a chance. I'm, I'm gonna save up my missiles, cause every one of these takes up one of these, and so uh, I'm probably gonna take it. Sure, you guys can surrender to me. I wish you could commandeer ships or take them over. Um, a heavily damaged Federation ship. They fade. Attempt to follow them. Crud. Uh, uh, this way, yeah. Scans reveal. No. Oh, I hate. I hate it when we come across beacons like that because it's such a waste of fuel. Uh, hello, I suppose it's not a bother, but I'm looking for an escort. This region is quite dangerous in our ship. Sure, I accept. Added a quest marker to our map. Sweet. We have to make it to there. Oh yeah, we can easily do that. Intervene to defend the outpost. But no one defies the rebel fleet. Uh, I wouldn't attack, I wouldn't attack a guy with a shield when all you do is have lasers. Because that's basically what lasers does do. Basically, let's say a laser does one damage. They wouldn't be able to penetrate our shields. Because we have one shield here. But if they did two damage... Uh, I don't want to do that here. But if they had two damage, then it would penetrate our shield, but it'd only do one damage. And so on and so forth. Dynamite. Boom. Shaka laka laka. Bzzzt. Oh my gosh. Boom, boom, boom. They didn't stand a chance. Continue. Sweet. Ship. Let us upgrade our shields here. Would we have enough money to do that? Yeah, we would. Sweet. Every. Your shields require two things. Ooh, a distress beacon. <gasps> we must save who is ever in distress. Uh, blah, the satellite signal is coming from a small space station orbiting an uninhabited planet. Their satellite defense system has gone haywire and the repair crew can't approach without being fired on. Looking for help to fix or disable that promised to help. We fire. Uh, that always never works. Uh oh, do we have a breach? Uh oh, we have a breach. Rick, Jenny, go in and f help fix it. Oh, they aren't taking any damage. Okay. And then we just gotta repair our shield systems. 
to return to your positions. There we go. Jump. Ooh, there's a store. Let's go to this quest first here. Get some extra money before we head over to the store. Oh, sweet! We got a free power bar. Now we can power up our... Mmm, just a second. So, if we... It goes there, then if we go up here, it'd be there, then there. If we go to here, then there. Go to here. Then, okay, I think we'll just be able to make it. <clears throat> you find you find yourself surrounded by a group of mist. They heal you and apparently. Oh yeah, because it's in the shop. Uh, is there anything we can sell? Page two. Halberd beam, fire bomb, and a Pegasus. <gasps> a Pegasus missile. Whoa. I guess that's all I can really do. That was pretty worthless. I hope my calculations were correct. We're in no fit state to fight. Uh huh, uh huh, okay. Oh, now they might. Oh no. That's just a basic laser. It fires only one shot, I think. So we're pretty good. Yeah. And it missed us, anyways. Uh, let's see here. Oh, whatever. All right. Oh boy. Ooh, load. Oh. Load. 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 Fire. Oh boy. Okay. I was scared for a second there. We were really low on shields a couple times there. Boom. 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 Got 19 big ones. And our FTL charges up. Ooh, a distress beacon. <gasps> Who is in need of distress? Uh, you have encountered a refugee ship drifting in space. It looks as if it was fleeing the rebel, rebel fleet in ad advance. The rebel advance and ran out of fuel. The distress beacon is active. Hail them. You hail the refugee ship. A slug ship jumps into the system. It's hunting the refugee ship for sport and now they found you instead <gasps> charge up our weapons we will we'll suffocate them to death because the one downside of a uh, slug ship is their uh, <clears throat> their um, oxygen isn't connected to a door so they can't really, um, so they can't really repair it, so then they'll eventually suffocate to death. Oh yeah, there's even a fire there. But yeah, this'll be fun watching them die. <laughs> And they cannot penetrate our shields, too. So, mwahahaha. I, I just wish it took longer for everything to be deoxygenated. Because then this would go a lot faster. Any day now. We'll be good. Mwahahaha. The engine room is deoxygenated. How about we help things along? Pew pew. And now they're repairing it. Ha 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 ha. They think they can save themselves. These the entire ship is now deoxygenated. They will slowly start to suffocate and die, and mwahahaha. They're dead! The slug ship, now empty of life forms, provides easy salvage. 
contact the refugee ship. A refugee claims the slugs have been hounding them since they left their homeworld. As a gesture of goodwill and seeing how effectively you dispatched the enemy ship, they offer up what supplies they can spare. Oh, thank you. Crud! They were off. We're gonna have to fight some guys here, unfortunately. Until further notice. Ooh. I don't like the look of this. Okay, you... Get to the... Engines. Ready our weaponry. And... Fire! Fire now! Oof, we are hit. But at least we got one of their shields and weapons down. Let's fire again there. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, I for I didn't I forgot it was paused. Boom. I'm gonna have it on auto fire in the shields. Fire! Uh, I'm not. And now I'm gonna hit their oxygen, despite the fact they're gonna die. Boom, 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 boom! <laughs> it said its ship class was an elite fighter. All right, so in in the next episode, we will go to Sector Two, either an uncharted nebula or a rock-controlled sector. The red is hostile, so we'll find more enemies there. But that can be good because then we might earn more money. Unfortunately, though, this place is a, a we've got a place with large civilians, so it wouldn't really matter. And then a nebula here is where it's all nebulas. Nebulas are weird things, so if you guys want to, you guys can go into the comments and tell me if I want to go into the rock controlled or an uncharted nebula. Or if that doesn't happen, I might just pick. Alright, I'll see you guys next episode. Bye.